If you're short on time and or hate cardio, you will love this fit tip. Fit tip number 14 for 2018 is do burst training or high intensity interval training, which is another name for it. Burst training is a great way to burn a ton of calories in a short period of time. So rather than spend 30, 40 minutes on a treadmill walking or on a bike, instead what you can do is shorten that time to about 12, 15, 20 minutes, depending on what you're doing and how long you have. Burn the same amount of calories, use more muscle, do more fat burning, and cut your time down. How this works is you go all out effort so high intensity or a burst of energy. As high as you can, so you're hitting basically your highest maximum heart rate. The way you figure that out is you just subtract your age from 220 and that will give you your max heart rate. That's a level where you really only want to work out there for maybe a couple minutes at most. So if you're doing high intensity interval training, you wanna hit that for maybe 30 seconds to a minute and then drop down to full recovery. So the lower range of your target heart rate. So for instance, for me, my lower range would be about 120. So that would be kind of my recovery rate. My target heart rate might be 165, 170. So say I jump on a treadmill and I do sprints. I'm gonna sprint for 30, 45 seconds maybe, depending on what I'm able to do with a heart rate that's at about 165 or so. Then I'm gonna drop back down and either completely stop or just walk until my heart rate comes back down to about 120, 125. Then I go back up for another 30 seconds or so. So you're generally gonna do about the same amount of intensity as you are rest or maybe a little bit more rest than you are intensity because again, to make this effective, you have to go all out effort. Lots of energy. This isn't just like a light interval, like a jog and then a walk. This is like all out sprint and then a stop or a walk. So you wanna make sure that you're fully recovering. So again, maybe you'll spend 30 seconds sprinting or you might do burpees or you might do squat jumps or anything that's gonna be plyometric, moving, really boost up your heart rate, battle ropes, box jumps, anything like that. Maybe even jumping jacks for some people. So you're gonna do that for say 30 seconds and then rest for 30 seconds to probably about a minute. If you're still not recovered, then you can rest longer, but that's the general idea. So a burst of high intensity, lots of effort, dying at the end of it, and then a period of rest to let yourself recover. So try that out this year. Start with maybe 12 minutes of that, move your way up to maybe 15 or so, but you don't need to do this for like 30 minutes. And in fact, if you can do it for 30 minutes, you're probably not doing it right or putting in enough effort. So try that out. You can way cut down your cardio time, still burn tons of calories and help you to reach your fitness and weight loss goals this year. Hope that helps. And I will see you again in the next Fit Tip video. Good luck on your fitness journey.